Phoebe, so how long is it since you've flown? Four years. Four years, and why yeah. was that? I think just um, like a bad turbulence on one flight, nothing like serious. Just maybe a bit nervous, and I built up in my head that flying was a lot worse than what it actually is. Right. How did you find the ground course? Really good. It was really helpful to learn with like all the techniques and also meet other people who made me feel quite normal for being scared because with some of my friends they're like you're being really weird and I'm like no actually it's just, it's just yeah. what I'm like. But it was for you really it was good. very real. It was very real. Yes. yes, very real. Yes. How were you on the flight? I was fine. I was a bit nervous when I got to the airport and had a bit of a cry. But then I brought it back together and on the flight I was a lot more controlled than what I thought and it felt really good because it's been four years and it's been a massive build up to sort of do this and I just feel really proud of myself and everyone else. So you feel this course has really worked for you? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. I, I would definitely do it and say please that I have done it because it's just made me feel like a lot more relieved because now I can go on holiday with my friends again. And what would you say to other phobics thinking, it's not going to be the same for me, I'm not going to be able to do it? I was really extreme. I um, didn't get on flights before in the past, I had complete meltdowns, like really extreme. And I used to fly when I was younger, um, but this has just totally changed my perspective now and made me real that, realise that flying is completely normal and it should be fine and you shouldn't say it's a massive deal. But I was definitely extreme. So come on, phobics. Yeah, everyone should. If you are scared, you should definitely book it because it's worthwhile. It makes you feel a lot better about yourself. Thank you. Okay, Catherine. So what was your fear of flying? Uh, being stuck inside the plane during turbulence and not being able to get off. And I've got a fear of heights as well. So. How did you find the ground course? Very good. Um, really good, motivational. It gave me a lot of techniques that I'll certainly take into using on future flights. How were you on the plane? much calmer than I have ever been. Um, having the pilot talk through all the different stages was great. Um, that was really good. And what would you say to other phobics looking at this video? Don't hesitate in booking a spot on the course because it can change your outlook and your perception of what's going on on a plane. And don't stop yourself from travelling the world. Thank you. Yes. What was your fear? Uh, well, basically it was a fear of not being in control. Uh, I basically, since I was a small child, I've not flown since 9-11. So for me it was a big kind of nervousness about you know who's going to be flying at play, who's going to be in control and trust issues I guess. And actually you make really good relationships with really good people and that, that's fundamental of the course is you bond with people, the same situation you do it helps. How were you on the flight? <laughs> uh, I was nervous, uh, luckily I had my two partners basically held my hands, we got up into the sky and then you know your heart stops pounding, you relax, and you feel really good about yourself so uh, Definitely recommend it. So can I ask you, are you going to now fly? Absolutely, I'm definitely going to fly now. Brilliant. And what would you say to other phobics? I would say get on this course. Um, I've been too afraid to sign up. My work had to sign up, sign me up for it. Um, if you have to, you know, get one of your relatives to do it. Once you're here, you know, it'll change your life. But you've got to make that first step. Thank you. All right, thank you. Jim and Jenny, so yeah. it's Jim who had the fear of flying. Yes, for a long time. Okay, and your partner, so you obviously haven't been anywhere together yet on we the plane. We have been together everywhere, but we ended up driving. Driving. Yeah, to driving some Spain, wherever else. That's a long drive. It is a mission. Yeah. Yes. So Jim, what was your fear of flying? It's the same old story, fear of dying. Confined yeah. spaces, noises that you're not sure of. Uh, I've always been a little bit anxious in and around lots of people as well. Yeah. Lots of people in one place yeah. together. Yeah, absolutely. So, talking for once. Let, <laughs> so let us hear your news then. We, we asked the gentleman. I asked the gentleman on the man, was on the airplane, how do I go about getting two further flights to Malaga? For While today. I'm here, I'm going to swap by the arms hole. For today, to go to Malaga? Yeah. I was, I was worried about if I don't fly today, you lose it. But you will, you you will do it again. But yeah. just tell me, have you got your flights to Malaga, or are you going to go and try? Uh, We've got to meet them in Costa. They're actually just trying to get out. He's going to take you up to. Oh, that's amazing! Oh, that is amazing. And how long? Oh my gosh! So you could always stay over and then fly tomorrow. 
Yay. If you can't get it today, <laughs> there yeah, you thank go. you for that. Yes, there you go. Anyway, you listen, on the end, that is such a lovely story. I do hope you get your flight. I yes. hope you have a wonderful time okay. and enjoy. Thank, thank you, you to everybody. Thank you. What would you say to other phobics then? Nothing never say never. Of, ne but, no. Uh, no, Rob, I've had this for years and it really has changed it the last two days. It really it has changed. So it will change your life. Yeah, definitely. It will change mine because I've now. never forced him to, to fly, in, but it is a pain driving. Like two, two days there, two days back. Well, yeah. listen, you get to Costa Coffee yeah. to see if you've got your flights and enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so Thank much. You.